couldn't look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect before you play back button check. Button check. We are back. Woo hoo hoo. Y'all ain't ready for this. Woo Friday. Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all is not ready for this shit. Uh huh. Y'all ain't ready for this right here. Mm mm. I'm about to give it to you. Woo. I'm about to give it to you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was all bullshit, by the way, but welcome back. It is Friday. We're ready to check them buttons for the weekend. Glad you guys are back. Glad to see you. Y'all looking good today. This one is a very, this is an interesting topic because it has to deal with players' emotions. You know, emotions are high when you're playing, especially when you're into it. You got the pop off, you got the rage quitting, you got people, players crying. And it pops off right here with our man Armada. You know Armada the God. He says, crying after a loss is one of many different ways of showing Showing that you really care about what you do. Some people might never be able to understand how hard some of these competitors work to reach their goals, but it's nothing to shame people for. I have myself cried after a loss. And then people actually, of course, agree with that and add on to it saying, people definitely gotta stop shaming others for crying after a loss. You know they are a competitor. You know this shit is stressful. Passion is nothing to make fun of. But then you have the other side of it, the people that are like, no, you need to be a man and suck it up. Saying stuff like, take a loss gracefully is a skill too. As a competitor, you should take some responsibility for your image as a serious competitor, not a child. Get your point and all, but just saying. And then Amethy St. Lady responds again. I'm sure I'm butchering that name. She says, even Olympians cry and they are some of the most serious competitors out there. Do you see them as children when they put in unfathomable work and cry as they miss their mark or when they hit their mark? And of course, this goes deeper than just games, right? Like they were saying, in professional sports professional athletes like Daniel Cormier when he lost against John Jones and he was crying in the corner afterwards and people were just constantly like bagging on him and making memes and then back to games when Punk was crying after he almost won Evo and lost it to Taquito and then he broke down in tears and then people kind of gave him shit about it and then Taquito when Taquito lost to Daigo he got bodied by Daigo and he was sitting there sobbing as they were interviewing Daigo but to him he just completely broke down I mean this happened a lot but there's always another side of the fence right like you're seeing here where people say no there's no crying there's no crying in baseball and it gets even a little deeper right here kevin toy also says on that note people should also not shame the production crews for capturing those moments Tears say a lot about a competitor, and for some reason, a lot of Twitch chat sees it as shameful that the production wants to highlight that moment. And then Blood Eyes actually adds to that, saying, the only time as a viewer I felt bad for the loser of a set from the camera work was Evo 2016 or 2017. Armada just stunned silence after HBox win. My favorite player won Evo. It should have been great, but man, Armada reaction broke me. As a viewer, I love that it gets me invested. Then Daniel Kessler actually makes a good point saying, I feel like if it was more socially acceptable, which it should be, we wouldn't have as many ragers. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the question here. For one, do you think it should be more socially acceptable for people to break down, for pros to cry, for anybody that's passionate as a, as a competitor to cry whether they win or lose. And for two, do you think Daniel has a point right here where he's saying if it was more socially acceptable, you would see less rager. So basically what he's saying, if there was a more socially acceptable way for people, especially men, let's be real, as a man, you feel like there's an ego thing where you're not allowed to cry and stuff like that. But if it was more socially acceptable to vent like that, would you see more guys actually do that rather than rage? For me personally, I'm gonna go on record and I'm gonna say there's nothing wrong with it. Now, I can also say it depends on when you do it and how you do it, because if there's not coming out like, yeah, yeah, like if it's, <laughs> there's, let's be real, y'all, there's a nice way to cry and there's an ugly way to cry. You can accept me, I'm crying. Stop it, stop it. But real talk, here's the realest of talk. I feel like if you are passionate about something, as long as you're not doing it in a sore loser or I'm a baby kind of way, as long as you're doing it with legit passion, I feel like there's nothing wrong with it. I really do. There's nothing wrong with it to me. But what do you guys think? Do you think as men, we're just simply not allowed to and we should suck that shit up? Or do you think as competitors and people that dedicate yourself to a craft, 
that is perfectly okay. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry we talked about crying today. We're about to hit that weekend. But I hope you all have a smile on that face. And if you got to cry, I hope you cry positive, happy tears. So I'll see you guys bright and early Monday morning. But this Sunday, y'all, this Sunday, we are giving away that hitbox to you guys. So we're going to announce the winners. All the shirts will be uh, mailed at the same time as the hitbox as well. So it's all coming. It's all close. It's all happening in a couple days. So I'll see you this Sunday, bright and early on Bogus Journeys, and then Monday morning, hot new, fresh week, a butt check. See y'all soon. Have a blessed week on y'all. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Baby, watch this end, baby. Boom. You didn't know I had an end, right? Come on. Oh, shit. You didn't. What the hell, man? This is bullshit. I can't. You can let it out. I know, I'm just saying, it's, what do you mean let it out? Like cry, you know, you can cry, remember? No, I'm just, I'm just saying, that is bullshit. Just, uh, it's all right, babe, just, you want to go watch porn? Yeah, can we? Yeah. Can we go watch, can we watch Asian stuff?